everyone. And welcome to uh, this week's Inspo Talk. Uh, it's a little bit uh, different this week than we usually uh, uh, are doing the Inspo Talk. Uh, we have um, a journey uh, back to the 80s and 90s and then back again. And I'm sure that this Inspo Talk uh, will br uh, bring back good memories. Uh, we're going to visit uh, Tommy's uh, Retro Computer Lab on YouTube and Jon Lennart uh, is going to talk about Amiga and modern cluster computing. I know people have been looking forward to this, uh, me included, so thank you so much for doing this and sharing your skills and passion with us. So please start when you are ready. Thanks, Liv, and uh, thanks for inviting me. Can you hear me? Yes, uh, perfect. Yeah, hi, my name is uh, Tommy and welcome to Oves.net. Hope you are all well. Uh, there will be video and sound, so uh, turn up the volume. Uh, there's no time for questions during the talk. Um, I've been in DIP since uh, 2009 and um, well, I have a problem. I still live in the 80s. This is me in uh, 86. <laughs> and. Um, I have a few hobbies besides my work in DIPS. Uh, one is about retro computers, which I will talk about today. Uh, retro computers for me is from the 80s and 90s, early 90s and even 70s. And um, .net is uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, another hobby is uh, mobile apps development. Uh, uh, which I'm not going to talk about today. I'm currently a developer and technical coach in Team DeLorean in Buda. So do you get the team name reference to the 80s? Uh, it's the teams I've been member of uh, in DIPS is uh, from the 80s too, it seems like. DeLorean is the, the car from the 1985 movie Back to the Future. And uh, before that, I was in a team uh, called Team Atari. And even before that, uh, I was in a team called the uh, Team Super Mario Brothers, uh, the ones from Nintendo, you all know. Anyway, I'm here to talk about the retro computers and the only thing modern 8-bit uh, health related software I could find is this COVID-19 game for the old Commodore machine. It's uh, not a good game, but uh, first a little personal background. Uh, I grew up in the 70s and 80s. I'm that old actually. I got my first computer after borrowing uh, a book at the library when I was around 12 or 13 years. Uh, and it was this one, a Laser 200 8-bit machine with only four kilobytes of memory and eight colors and this rubber keyboard. It was a bit special to get the computer in those days. Uh, uh, I don't know if the term nerd was even invented, but uh, I learned to program it in basic by myself. And um, later on, I got the Commodore 64 machine, which became the most sold computer model of, of all time and still is actually. Uh, many kids had this machine for games. Um, then I got my Amiga 500. Uh, but I learned to program machine code on my own uh, with the C64 when I was 14, 15 years. Uh, this is the low level code that all the microprocessors execute uh, close to the, to the metal. And uh, I made a few demos on the C64. The, these were programs with animation and music to show off the programming skills uh, you had on the old machines. and. Uh, Here's a few clips from one of my YouTube videos about uh, that. So what I'm going to show you now is some of the things I made in the late 80s. Oh, okay. <laughs> so here's actually a map uh, showing uh, where I lived at that time. And, uh, on this one I found LCS brief number six. Loading number six. Uh, 
anyway, at that time, the 6510 CPU of the Commodore consisted of maybe 8,000 transistors, which was a lot. But uh, now, the Apple iPhone 12 has a 64-bit CPU with around 11 billion transistors, and uh, that's quite a difference. Uh, so I went to engineering college in computer science and electronics, and this was the early PC times in the 1990, and uh, we used DOS, then came Windows, and I got the PC, and I forgot all about uh, the old computers, but I kept a few of the old machines, and then 30 years passed, almost. And I, uh, in 2018, I started to watch uh, the 8-bit guy and others on YouTube, uh, channels with uh, old machines content, and I brushed the dust off uh, my own old machines, and uh, I actually decided to start a YouTube channel just for fun to see if I could get some views. Uh, I started showing off how I fixed up a few machines I bought on my kitchen table in Norwegian and uh, well this is uh, kind of uh, embarrassing but um, this one is one of the first videos oh so this is kind of embarrassing I'm actually a bit shy but uh, I did that anyway but uh, Uwesen.net on YouTube was uh, born. Uh, since then I changed to, to English and I learned a lot about making YouTube content and video editing. Uh, I got a little bit more confident and advanced in my videos and editing. And um, here's a few clips uh, from uh, later videos I made. So this is an Atari 2600 uh, games console, uh, the original one. Yeah. So I repair the old machines. The right mouse uh, pad, if you turn it this way around. And also modifies Exciting. the with modern. Here we go, turning on the power. Modern solutions. All right, there's the picture. There is sound, but uh, there's no colors. At first glance, uh, on the inside, it looks uh, okay. It's uh, quite dusty, I guess. And uh, sometimes uh, it goes like this. All right. <laughs> I suddenly heard a bang and <laughs> you see the smoke. <coughs> Yeah, that was a great one. And uh, here's a few other clips from uh, recent videos.
I also did a few projects where I mix uh, old and uh, new tech, uh, and I made a little bit of a YouTube series about that. Uh, and here's a little video with a few clips about that. Mixing Commodore and Arduino. Well, the channel has grown slowly to uh, over 1600 subscribers and I actually got over 100,000 views now. So, uh, and lots of positive feedback. I don't think I have any negative feedback this far. That's uh, great fun. Um, there's a large uh, retro computer community out there actually. Uh, then one day I decided to build a complete uh, machine from scratch, uh, an old machine, but with uh, as much new components as possible. And uh, I got a brand new uh, empty circuit board replica that a fellow YouTuber created. And I made a series of five episodes where I built the machine from scratch. Here's a little uh, presentation video I made about that project. <laughs> The machine was eventually finally complete, uh, but uh, would it uh, work? Uh, let's see what happened in uh, part five. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> Plugging in. Turning on, as I said, I'm prepared that it's not working and I won't be disappointed if that happens, but uh, okay. Three, two, one. Look at that. <laughs> Fantastic. Worked on first try, actually. So that was a happy moment. Uh, so my channel has grown slowly. I made 76 videos. Uh, this is just for fun uh, on my free time and not for the money as there is very little at this level. But um, yeah, gradually I have built up a little uh, electronics lab in the attic where um, I have some equipment and spare parts that I need. and. Uh, uh, this is the workbench where I do the soldering and uh, yeah, I have equipment a little bit messy at the moment. Some of the tools I, I use and uh, I have a test bench. Uh, and on the other side, I have a little uh, retro cave where I can enjoy machines and watch uh, movies and play games. And I also built a little collection of uh, old machines that I like. Uh, I have around 25 now. Uh, maybe I can start a little uh, museum soon. Uh, so if you have a machine you want to donate to my collection, you can get a mention in uh, one of uh, my videos. Uh, so here's a little display cabinet I have where I have some of my collection uh, on display.
So that was it. If you want to test uh, the old machines uh, yourself, there's a lot of emulators available to run uh, on your PC or uh, even inside the browser. And uh, yeah, for Commodore, you have the voice emulator. It's really great. It works on Windows and everything almost. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Um, Uves.net on YouTube, and uh, with that, I uh, send over to Jun Lennart. Uh, he has a very impressive talk topic to talk about. Thanks a lot.